song by Jim Reeves, but I have a bad cold, so you guys have to excuse me, so just bear with me. So, this is for my mom and dad, which have passed away and they got to be with the Lord, and for my family, I dedicate my family. See is for the Christ child, born upon this day, H is for herald angels in the night. 
I saw Redeemer, I mean Israel. S is for the stars that shine so bright. T is for three wise men, they who traveled far. M is for the manger where he lay. A is for all he stands for. S means shepherds came, and that's why there's a Christmas day. T is for three wise men, they who traveled far. M is for the manger where he lay. A is for all he stands for. S means shepherds came, and that's why there's a Christmas day. And that's why there's a Christmas day. Now, Evelyn is going to lead her grandkids in a special song.
Yeah.
dashing through the snow in a wondrous open sleigh. Or here we go, laughing all the way. Ha 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 ha! ha. Bells on the bonnet ring, making spirits proud. What fun it is to ride on the sleigh on tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on the horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on the horse open sleigh. Let's sing another song. <laughs> I'll give those to you in a minute. Come on. 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 And now, Dean Hampson, Captain, is going to come up and play something for us. Amen. <clears throat> I'd like to just stop and have him come back. <laughs> <laughs> this over here. We really ought to have those kids. playing with my mother-in-law and she went to the hospital last night so uh, she would cover up a lot for me so uh, see what we can do here all by myself well everyone that I had picked out to done been sung Thank you, Deb, and thank you, everyone. Amen? Amen? Now, I don't know about you, but I've been totally blessed. I'm sitting up here just soaking it all in, and it's just so good. And I've just been totally blessed. I like that we're small enough to still do this, don't you? Amen. And no matter how big we ever get, I hope we can still do this every year. Amen? Amen. I just love to it, opening it up to you to be able to sing and I want to share something with you that I think is more important than anything today. Amen. 
more important than anything we do this week, more important than anything we're probably going to do the rest of our lives. Amen. I want to share with you something that I'm concerned about. But I want to do it in a positive way. So I got a present for you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use AJ and Livia. And we're, come on, Amelia and Cecilia and Lily, come on up here. Lily, come on up, help people. All right, boys, you want to help too? Come on. Come on, let's have the children help. Help me out, okay? All right, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to give a candy cane to everybody in the church. Can we do that? And God willing, I have enough. <laughs> right? I want you to give a candy cane to everybody in the church. All right, you guys hold it open for the girls and AJ, okay? And I want you to walk down the aisle and let the kids hand them out. All right? Walk down the aisle there, two boys. All right, now pass them out, girls. Boys, pass them out. Just reach in there and start giving them to the folks. All right, there you go. All right. Do that good. All right. Very good. Now, boys and girls, what are you doing? Are you giving out a present? Yeah, well, don't forget the candy cane. I see you getting the paper and the candy cane separate. <laughs> Put the candy cane inside the paper for them, okay? There you go. You can keep one for yourself, too, girls. All right? Pass them out now. Hurry. Hurry. Pass them out. Quick, quick, quick. you got to hurry. Reach in the bag and grab some. And take them to the adults. There you go. All right, reach in the bag. Take another one. Now, I'm going to have a lot of fun with the kids on Christmas Day. I can assure you of that. We are going to have a good time with them. I've got some things planned for them. And I also have those cupcakes planned. Now, Virginia's got something special for us on Christmas Eve. I forgot to tell you about it. I think she's got hot cocoa and some kind of dessert for us on the way out on Christmas Eve, too. So we got all kind of goodies going on here, all right? Plus, the pastor would like to do a potluck supper on New Year's Day. Because believe it or not, the Sunday after Christmas Day is guess what day? You want to do potluck supper on New Year's Day? Why not? Why not? Let's start the new year off right in fellowship. Amen? Potluck supper, New Year's Day, we got it. That means you bring something. You bring green beans. You bring a salad. You bring a meat dish. You bring potatoes. Whatever you Hey, we'll, that's what we eat that day. Amen? Okay, now go up to the choir loft and let's get all the choir members one, all right? Make sure we get them all up there. Let's not leave anybody out. Did everybody get one? Raise your hand if you didn't get one. Did anybody? Who didn't get one? Did not. All right, we got some all the way in the back. All right, AJ, you're a fast runner. Come on up here and get you three more and go all the way to the back. All right? All right, now. Adults, I want you to open them up. And I want you to... I'm really concerned about this. I'm trying to be funny. All right, AJ, take it back there. Lucy didn't get one. Let's see. All, AJ, all the way in the back. Honey. All the way in the back. All the way in the back, sweetie. That's right. All right, go, go, go. There he goes. All right, he's got it. All right, adults. It's been said that a candy maker in Indiana wanted to make a candy that would remind people of the time and true meaning of what? Christmas. So he made a candy cane to incorporate several symbols for the birth, ministry, and death of Jesus Christ. He began with a stick of what? Pure white candy. Did you get one for yourself, children? He started with a stick of pure white candy. And then he decided that that 
symbolizes, the white candy symbolizes the pure, sinless nature of Jesus, His holiness, His purity, and that He's the solid rock, the foundation of the church, and the firmness of the promises of God. The candy maker then shaped his cane to form a what? A J. To represent the precious name of who? Jesus. Jesus. Who came to the earth as Savior. It could also represent the staff of the Good Shepherd with which he reaches down to reclaim the fallen lambs, that's us, like sheep who have gone astray. Thinking that the candy was somewhat plain, the candy maker stained with red stripes. He used three small stripes to show the stripes of the scourging that Jesus received. There's your three small stripes. Then he used one large what? Red stripe to represent what? The blood of Jesus Christ that was shed at the cross so that we could have forgiveness of sin and the gift of eternal life. Now this is a tradition. This is what we call tradition. Now here's what I'm concerned about. This week will fulfill all kinds of traditions. We may have already dressed our Christmas tree. By the way, our Lord Harry gave us a Christmas tree. It is so beautiful. We've done it. It's so, it's so wonderful. And a Christmas tree is standard equipment for us. Amen? In America, we like to have at least a small little tree of some kind. And so we go out and we get all these things. We get the tinsel, the lights, and everything. And oh my goodness, children get the stories. They got Santa. They got this. They got that. They got the other. They got the Grinch. They got this person, that, that, they got the old Charlie Brown over here. They got everything, right? <laughs> but in all of that muck and mire, let me ask you one question. <coughs> Does the true meaning of Christmas get somehow camouflaged yes. through the tinsel and the, through the lights? And somehow the true meaning gets camouflaged, doesn't it? And over the years, as time has gone on, traditions have changed. And so the candy makers decided, well, gee, Christmas should have more colors. It should be brighter. We should do more. So now they got green ones and purple ones and blue ones. And you go to the store, you'll find pink ones. You'll find them in every color nowadays. And you say, well, Pastor, you're not really upset about that. No. No, that's what I'm not upset about. What I am upset about is that we have, through tradition, through just going through the material kind of thing that the world puts us through, we've kind of camouflaged the real meaning of Christmas. And we've forgotten that it's all about Jesus. Amen. 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 And do we have a stocking up for Jesus this year? Hmm. That's an interesting question, isn't it? It's the same question that the bishop asked in one of those Christmas movies. Do you have a stocking up for Jesus? And what are you going to give him? You see, it is about the birth of Jesus Christ. And it is about Him coming into the world to save us from our sins. Amen. Amen. And in all the busyness and the hectic pace of this world, I believe the truth is getting camouflaged Amen. in a way that makes it hard for children to understand what Christmas is really about. I see it in my own 23 grandchildren. It's more difficult for them to understand what Christmas is about than it was when I was a child. It's more camouflaged today. The true meaning is not out there right in the open. I have not seen one movie, portrayal, or anything of the birth of Jesus Christ in the media. Not one. Not one. The world has lost sight of our Savior. But thanks be to God, we're here today. Amen. 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 We didn't lose something. And we remember today. Amen. Amen. We remember why He came into this world. Because He loved us. Because He wanted to save us. 
So He manifested Himself in the flesh so that He could live a sinless, pure life, just like the candy cane says. And He became the firm foundation of the church of the living God. And it is on that white rock, the solid rock, Jesus, that we find forgiveness, the gift of eternal life, and really the true gospel meaning of Christmas. Amen. For it is a gospel, a good news, that Jesus came into this world to save us from our sin. That remains the message of Christmas, no matter how colorful we make it, and how much tinsel we put on it, and how we continue to dress it up in different ways. Let's be sure to not camouflage the true meaning and let it reflect from our lives as we go out this week. And let's, uh, let's remember that traditions are only traditions. They change. They change in different ways. But remember what the Lord said. And I'll close with this law. For as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold or all the tinsel and all the bowls. <coughs> or from your vain conversation received by tradition of your fathers. But with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without spot or blemish. That pure white hard candy, without spot, without blemish. Red thick stripe stands for his blood that was shed for me. Three small stripes stand for the fact that he was striped for my sin. As Isaiah the prophet said, he bore all my sin on that tree. I thank him that he came into this world to save me from my sin. Amen. That remains the true message of Christmas. Amen. Thank you, Father, for loving us so much that you sent Jesus. For God so loved the world. Say it with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Heavenly Father, thank you for the true meaning of Christmas. Thank you for the message of salvation it brings to us. May we go to Elon Mountain. May we go and share this truth with people outside. Thank you that it is through the work of Jesus that we're saved and not through traditions of men. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did for us. We pray and believe and we'll gather again in your name at the next appointed time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We'll gather again Wednesday and then Sunday. Uh, but don't forget what? Saturday, Christmas, what? Eve. Amen. Uh, right. Before we leave, we'd like this next song, this last song, to be our Christmas card to you.